Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all an update to my Amazonist Yu-Gi-Oh! deck profile for post Darkwing Blast. In the latest Yu-Gi-Oh! booster set, we were given new support for the Amazonist deck. These cards were supposed to be in the Duelist pack, Duelists of Pyrazine, but since a lot of those cards were imported, like the Morphtronics in the Power of the Elements set, they decided to import the Amazonist cards in the next set as well. And then I'm guessing the Ishizu cards will be in the uh, Maiden set that we'll be getting later this year as well but it's awesome with all these new amazonist cards we've got a couple new fusions a fusion spell which amazonists have definitely been needing for a while now and a few main deck monsters including a few pendulum monsters and main deck monsters making this deck a lot more fun and strong to use i'd say for sure so let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile so we'll go ahead and start off with the main deck monsters for the three of that we're running for the deck i'm still running three amazonist princess this is still one of the best searchers you have in the deck its name becomes Amazonist Queen while in the field or in the graveyard. If it's normal or special zone, you can add one Amazonist spell or trap from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn, and when it declares an attack, you can send one other card from your hand or field to the graveyard to special summon one Amazonist monster from your deck in defense position, except for Amazonist Princess. So getting you monsters on the field is definitely important, but also just being able to search out a spell or trap. And our new spell is Amazonist Secret Arts, which is our fusion spell. So just having an easy access to a fusion spell to then help get out our many different Amazonist fusion monsters we have makes this card all the more stronger in the deck to use. I also run three copies of the new Amazonist War Chief. If you control no monsters or only Amazonist monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. If it's normal or special summon, you can set one Amazonist Spell or Trap or one Polymerization directly from your deck. Also, you can only attack with Amazonist monsters for the rest of this turn. And you can only use each effect of Amazonist War Chief once per turn. So you have your setup. You can set one of the traps to use, which having access to Amazonist Onslaught, all the easier as well, along with Amazon. Amazonist Princess definitely makes this a three of since it's just a very good searcher. And you can also set Polymerization since if you were to set the new spell Amazonist Secret Arts or Amazonist Call, you wouldn't be able to activate it that turn since it was a quick play spell. Giving you that search is just very useful for more fusion setup plays and then just another special summon of an Amazonist monster onto the field. For some of the lower numbers in the deck, I also run two of the new Pendulum Amazonist Golden Whipmaster. From the Pendulum scale, Amazonist monsters you control gain attack equal to their own level, times 100. And when an attack is declared involving your Amazonist, you can target one spell or trap on the field, destroy it. So you have a destruction play set up from your Pendulum scale. And in the monster zone, if it's destroyed by battle or card effect, you can place this card in your Pendulum zone. And if an Amazonist monster is special summoned to your field while this card's in the graveyard, except during the damage step, you can place it in your Pendulum zone, giving you more of a recycle power thanks to this card it's also why i'm only running two because you can easily summon it onto the field with cards like princess have it get destroyed and then just set it up in your pendulum scale because of it and for the other opposite scale i also run two copies of amazonist silver sword master once again this one gains attack equal to their level times 100 and when an attack is declared you can target an amazon spell or trap in your graveyard and add to your hand giving you recycle power for a lot of the quick play spells to use and being a scale seven along with a scale one whip master you can summon out a good majority of the amazon cards that we run in this deck thanks to a pendulum summon as well and being able to place it in the pendulum zone just like golden whip master and also being able to have more of a special summon from the graveyard to place this card into your pendulum zone for your options i also run two of the new Amazonist Spiritualist. If this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can target an Amazonist card you control, except for Spiritualist, return it to the hand. And if you do special summon this card, also you cannot special summon monsters from the extract for the rest of this turn, except for Amazonist monsters. And if this card is special summon, you can add one polymerization from your deck to your hand. So more search power. That's what's always great about this setup. You can have a search off of Amazonist Princess, or even just a search off of what you may special summon off of her, thanks to this card. Since the only thing you're limited to, to summoning with Amazonist Princess is an Amazon honest monster. I also run two Amazonist Spy for the additional special summon by revealing another Amazonist monster in your hand, getting it onto the field for more resources on the field, and when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can target an Amazonist monster in your graveyard except for Spy and return it to the hand or return it into the deck, giving you more of a special summon play to rely on thanks to cards like Amazonist Princess. 
for the one ofs for the Amazonas monsters, I run one Amazonas Queen. Once again, these are one ofs because they're just easily accessible thanks to cards like Amazonas Princess. One for the Queen to protect your Amazonas from being destroyed by battle. Swordswoman, so you can hit for some big damage against your opponent by just having this card crash into those cards. One Amazonas Scout. During either player's turn, you contribute this card. And during your turn, face up Amazonas monsters you control cannot be targeted by effect monsters, and their effects cannot be destroyed by the effects of spell, trap, and effect monsters. You can reutilize this card again. That's why it's just another one of. And the same with Baby Tiger, just being able to special summon every time you summon out an Amazonas monster from the graveyard or even from your hand. And that is it for the main deck monsters. I wanted to go for a pure Amazonas build. They all work very, very well together for the lineup. If you wanted to run a hand trap, you could always mix around some of your spell options for those spots, but I am comfortable with the numbers we have for each one of the Amazonas monsters. For these spells, I am running three copies of Amazonas Secret Arts. Like I said, this is one of your go-to fusion cards in the deck. You fusion summon one Amazonas fusion monster from your extra deck, using monsters from your hand or field as fusion material. And during your main phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Once per turn, if you fusion summon an Amazonas fusion monster this turn you can also send one amazon's monster from your extra deck to the graveyard as material because some of the new resources including the new amazonus augusta need one amazonus fusion monster so having that requirement from the uh, extra deck to use just takes up one of the resources you may have had for that card to be summoned out being, being just being able to banish this card from your graveyard because of it and then we have the reliance on cards like polymerization to have more fusion plays after this one getting out multiple fusions per turn also I also run three Amazonas Call. You take one Amazonas card from your deck, except for Amazonas Call, and either add to your hand or send it to the graveyard. And during your main phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard to target one Amazonas monster you control this turn. That monster can attack all monsters your opponent control once each. Also, other monsters you control cannot attack. But if you have a big boss monster like Amazonas Augusta on the field, you'll definitely want this to attack every monster your opponent controls aside from, you know, your other Amazonas monsters. And for some of the lower numbers for the Amazonas cards, I also run one Amazonas Village, just a field spell search. And when an Amazonas is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon one Amazonas monster from your deck with a level less than or equal to that monster. With the high levels we have, you can have your setup for your pendulum scales by destroying the higher one and special summoning the other one out onto the field to just be destroyed and set up your pendulum scales thanks to that. With this being a uh, option once per turn, just remember you have that one destruction play, so you want to make sure the special summon you get out after this card is definitely well worth it. And for more fusions, I run two polymerizations and one fusion substitute. Having six fusion targets in this deck makes it all the better having a searchable one in the form of Amazonas Secret Arms, but also still having one in the form of searching out thanks to you being able to use War Chief to set your polymerization just makes it that much more vital in the deck also. Plus, I also run one Monster Reborn for more Graveyard Recycle, one Reinforcements of the Army, because this can search out one of the most important searchers in the deck for you to use. And then for the fact that most of the Amazonists, I think aside from Baby Tiger, are uh, Warrior Monsters, we are running the Assault Engine in the deck because you can easily utilize the Special Summon by sending Equip Spells. So running one Divine Sword, Phoenix Blade, for the uh, Graveyard Setup. Once again, thanks to this card one moon mirror shield for protection if you do open up these cards the one thing you want with these equip spells is usability if you do open them up in your hand that's why we have also the special summon with living fossil and the other one is one refusion we don't really have too many options when we use a sold that are going into a fusion deck so being able to at least reuse our fusion monsters if we open up this card in our hand but having four in total so we can send and set up the good majority of cards we run in this deck having the level three options the level two options and most importantly if you at least just open up one you still have the other other three in the deck to send to special summon out Amazonist Princess. And that is it for the spells. Moving on now to the traps. I run two copies of Amazonist Onslaught. I only run two of this card because once again it's searchable thanks to cards like Princess or War Chief. So you really only need the two to set up, giving you the banish when you attack into your opponent's monster. So if an Amazonist can't be destroyed by battle and it does battle against your opponent's monster, with some cards you can have your opponent take the damage, but then also banish that monster, or even after the destruction of your own monster, gaining that pendulum scale ability, and then also being able to take out that monster to begin with. And I also run one Amazonas Willpower for more special summoning options and having basically a searchable Call of the Haunted, once again, in the deck. And lastly, the three infinite impermanence. I didn't run Ash Blossom, but I still wanted to run one hand trap to rely on to activate during my opponent's turn if they try and resolve a monster effect on the field.
And that is it for the main deck. We'll now move on to the extract. For the fusion monsters, I am running two copies of the new Amazonas Augusta. You need one Amazonas fusion monster and one Amazonas monster. So once again, with the new spell card, you can have this card's material taken from the extract to use for that fusion. It's a 3200 attack point monster. Your opponent cannot target other Amazonas cards you control with card effects. While this card is on the field, cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. And if this card is fusion summoned using Amazonas Empress or Amazonas uh, Queen as material, Material, it can make a second attack during each battle phase. And this card is Fusion Summon. You can special summon one Amazonas monster from your deck, giving you access to the good majority of even some of the one-ofs that we run, being able to have those monsters summoned out quite easily thanks to it, and more of the setup, since Queen is also in the name of Amazonas Princess on the field. I also run two of the new Amazonas Pet Liger King. You need one level five or higher Amazonas monster and one Amazonas monster. Your opponent cannot attack any monsters you control except this one. And you can target one Amazonas card you control, one Amazonas warrior monster in your graveyard, destroy that card on the field, and special summon that other monster from your graveyard. This card cannot attack the turn you activate this, but also you can only use this effect once per turn, but it's set up. That's the biggest thing, giving you a protection card on the field while still being able to utilize and get back many of the one ofs that we may either destroy, set up in the graveyard, and then want to resummon back onto the field. I also run two copies of the older fusion, which is Amazonas Empress, needing one queen and one Amazonas monster. It can also just be the fusion material you'll send for your bigger boss monster, being Amazonas Augusta. And other Amazonas you control cannot be destroyed by battle or Carfax. But once again, just set up. Having these additional fusion monsters as option is another important part of the deck altogether. Same with the Amazonas Pet Liger, which you do need Amazonas Tiger to make it, but you can easily just special summon your baby tiger onto the field, and its name becomes Amazonas Tiger while on the field, so there is your fusion requirement to make this card. And then for the Link Monsters, I run the one is sold for the Equip Spell, Send, and Special Summon, Mrs. Radiant, since they're all Earth, Attribute, Barricade Board Blocker to recycle the field spell if it does get destroyed, Nightmare Phoenix for Spell and Trap Destruction, Nightmare Unicorn for Shuffling Cards Back, and then Bigger Boss Monsters, one Appaloosa and one Boral Sword, since you can get a pretty good amount of effect monsters on the field thanks to cards like Amazon's Princess, and then just the overall Pendulum Summon you could potentially do with the cards you set up in your hand. As for some of the go-to plays in the deck, they all rely on the special summon of what you have. If you open up Princess or War Chief in your hand, you have that play for an easy setup. Being able to just summon out Amazonas Princess can get you out your search, which once again, just gives you your play for your Amazonas secret arts. So then you will have this card added to your hand. You can then enter battle, attack with Amazonas Princess, discarding a card from your hand, which it doesn't matter what the other card in your hand will be if you send it to the graveyard, giving you the special summon of an Amazonas monster from your deck onto the field, which then if you summon cards like Amazonas War Chief, yelling you to set another Amazonas card, being a trap, you can set up your onslaught ready to go right then and there. And then after the battle is finished with the princess, if it is still alive on the field, even if you had to attack into a defense monster to make this play possible, you have the Amazonas Secret Arts in your hand to activate still during the battle phase since it is a quick play spell, using the two monsters you had on the field to get out the bigger cards. Remember, you have to use a fusion monster for Augusta, but being the fact that Amazonas Princess counts as Amazonas Queen on the field, you can get out your Amazonas Empress during the battle phase because of this card and then have that additional monster to swing into your opponent with because of it. For more of the actual setup plays as well, just relying on War Chief, if you control no monsters, you can special summon this card out first and then have your additional summon of an Amazonas monster onto the field, giving you those resources depending on what you may want to go for and then still have the set of your Amazonas card on the field, or even just the polymerization set, which then, if it's not the battle phase and you just special summon your War Chief on the field, you can activate that said polymerization, fusing those two monsters together for the same concept play you wanted to go for, just needing the level five or higher monster for that means you can have the requirements for the Amazonas monster and the level five or higher with these two to make your Amazonas pet Liger King and then have more of the recycle power from the graveyard, just needing the one additional card on the field to activate with this card to special summon back your other Amazonas monsters from the graveyard to the field. But that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoy. Once again, I love Amazonas. I'm glad we got the cards imported, just like we did with the Morphtronic cards from the Power of the Elements set. And as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and Kira Twig out.